a lot of patients who need kidney transplants don't know this, but when you get a kidney transplant, it's really only half of the battle won because your immune system now sees this new organ as an invader and it can and will probably attack it. And this was a huge problem for transplant patients until scientists discovered a fungus in the soil known as cyclosporin. What this fungi was able to do was to reduce the amount of immune reactions that your body had towards the new organ so that it didn't reject the transplanted organ. And so now we know that cyclosporins can be used to help fight up organ rejection, but they needed to make a lot of it. And so what they did was they dug up the soil with the fungi fermented it and grew it in tanks under clean and very controlled conditions. They also fed it nutrients and they let it grow and produce more cyclosporin. There are a lot more advanced ways of doing this now that don't directly involve having to use soil, but the goal here is that we get the right amount of fungi from, is that we get a little bit of fungi and we are able to feed it and grow it under very strict standards to be able to get more. But the origins came from the fungi in soil. And even though this fungi really helps with preventing your body from rejecting an organ, your doctors still have to monitor very closely for any sort of side effect. But without us finding this fungi in the soil, many people will die after their organs fail because their bodies will not be able to take in new organs. So imagine what could be found in the little soil in your garden or your backyard.